Hi everyone. Too often do I get a patient coming to me for a second opinion only to say their last doctor insisted they get laser with their cataract surgery. Otherwise, they would have a bad result and they couldn't do the surgery. It goes something like this. Hi, Mrs. Smith with cataract. I'm Dr. Shakes. You must get laser for your cataract surgery. It's the only way to have cataract surgery. It's completely bladeless. And you're telling me you want to use a blade for your cataract surgery? Are you out of your mind? There are some dangerous no-brain folks out there doing surgery with blades. I want you to see how steady my hands are. You wouldn't want these hands operating on your eye, would you? Have you seen what an egg slicer can do to a hard-boiled egg? Your eye is just like an egg. You wouldn't want a sharp knife cutting your eye, would you? If you don't elect laser, you might lose your vision and there won't be anyone to blame but yourself. Now, in the alphabet, I is not next to C for a reason. And if it doesn't make sense to you, it's probably because it doesn't. But you don't want to go think about it too hard because then you'll get a fever. Got it? We accept Cash, Debit, Discover, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and Shiba Inu. Now, how do you want to pay? <gasps> you don't want that. Sound familiar? It pains me to hear this sort of thing. If you ever hear this, run. Because there's so much misinformation out there about laser cataract surgery, on today's video, I want to clear up some misunderstandings. The claims. Number one, laser is always safer and easier. No, this is not true. In some cases it can be, in other cases it's better to do manual. It depends greatly on the individual patient and experience of your surgeon. Find a surgeon who can make cataract surgery safe and easy both with and without laser. If there's a surgeon who, who only does it one way, won't offer the other way, then that's not a good sign. Number two, laser cataract surgery is bladeless. This is not always true. It can be, however, in a recent survey of surgeons who perform cataract surgery with laser, less than half of them actually use a laser to make the entry incisions into the eye, which means blades are still used in laser-assisted cataract surgery. I think it's because a good surgeon can create and position an incision more consistently or reliably than a laser. Number three, laser makes surgery faster. This is definitely not true. In general, laser adds extra time to your surgery. I've tried many different lasers with different workflows, with different efficiency. And for me, it's almost always faster when I do the surgery by hand. There are benefits to laser, but speed and efficiency is not one of them. This will probably change in upcoming years as laser technology keeps advancing. Right now, when I do it by hand, it's more efficient. Number four, the laser portion is not covered by insurance. This is absolutely true. Insurance will not pay for the laser and expecting your surgeon to do it for free is basically asking them to shut down their office. If your doctor pays for your laser, then they pretty much did your surgery for free. That's because the cost to the doctor of doing laser is just about the same that insurance pays doctors to do cataract surgery. Maybe I'll talk about this more in a future video. So what are the benefits of laser? You have to think of laser as a tool. If it's used to address an appropriate problem, it can be fantastic. If you have, let's say, mild astigmatism, the laser can help reduce it by creating very precise LRIs uh, or limbal relaxing incisions in the cornea. This can also be done manually, but laser is more precise. Laser can create a very well-centered and perfectly circular capsule erexis, which is the opening in the cataract done in the beginning of the surgery. This is especially nice when operating on a mature white cataract, since performing this step manually is notoriously more difficult in white cataracts. The laser can also help separate the cataract into smaller pieces, a critical step making that portion of the cataract surgery easier. It can be done manually as well, but if you have a really dense cataract, it's nice to supplement it with laser sometimes. This is especially useful when someone has an abnormal cornea, since heat can damage the cornea, and performing surgery manually can sometimes generate a bit more heat than when using laser. Another thing you should know. Let's say you have some astigmatism that can be reduced with the laser at the time of cataract surgery, and you decide not to do it. Can you get laser treatment to reduce astigmatism at a future date? The answer is most likely yes. But keep in mind, it's a second surgery and will usually cost more than having one surgery to remove the cataract and reduce the astigmatism at the same time. 
Also, the second surgery carries its own set of risks. In summary, it's nice to have laser as an option, but laser is not always better. It depends on the surgeon's experience and your specific case. Significant cost is added to your cataract surgery with the laser option. Sometimes it's worth it, and sometimes it may not be. The goal of this video is not to tell you whether you should get laser cataract surgery or manual cataract surgery, but I do think it's important to find a surgeon who can make your cataract surgery safe and easy, both with or without laser. I wish you the best on your journey to better sight. I hope you found this video helpful. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.